In this WooCommerce tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to set up cart abandonment. Coming up. When people come to your WooCommerce website, chances are a percentage of them are going to leave the checkout page without buying. So it's very difficult to try and trace or get to these people once they've left the page. But how about if you could send them an automated email after a specified time to remind them of what they had just left in the cart or even give them a discount uh, just to get them back to buy that product that they were just about to buy. So in this video, I am going to be showing you how to set up cart abandonment on your WooCommerce website. So let's dive in and let's get started. But before we do that, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. All right, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so over here, I am on my website. So first things first, make sure you have WooCommerce installed. It's absolutely free. And as you can see here, I've gone ahead and installed it. Now, let's install the plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins and click on add new. Now, this plugin I'm going to install is absolutely free. So what I'm going to do is to come over here and search for it. So I'm gonna come and search for it, for it here. And here we go. So this is the plugin that uh, we need to install. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install now. And by the way, uh, this plugin has, was created by the same company that created Cutflows, which is a funnel software for WordPress. Okay, so uh, this has now been installed. Next, I have to activate this. So make sure you click on activate. Okay, so now that our plugin has been activated, the next step now is to just to come over here and now you can see when you hover over WooCommerce, all the way down here at the bottom, you can see cart abandonment. Fantastic. So now that means it's been installed and everything looks good. Now for this to work, you're going to need to set up your products and also a coupon code. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here now on the products, if I go to all products, you're going to notice that I've already gone ahead and created these products. So I've got product A, product B, product C, and free audio. So the next step now is to come over here to marketing and I am going to create a coupon. So this one here is going to be a 10% discount. So I am going to click here on create your first coupon. All right, so let's give this coupon code a name. So I'm gonna call this MA K 10 for 10% off. And then if I want, I can generate a uh, description here, which is 10% uh, off. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, what this discount is about. So over here now, you see we have a fixed cart discount. So if I click here on this drop down, we also see that we can choose percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and choose percentage. Now the coupon amount, I'm going to say 10% and then allow shipping. I'm just going to leave this as it is. And also you can set your expiry date, but in this case, we are not going to set up an expiry date. All right, so now that I set up my coupon code, the next step now is to hit publish. Okay, so now my coupon code has been published. The next step now is to customize our emails and this is very, very easy to do. All right, so let's head over here now. So I'm gonna ho hover over here where it says WooCommerce and then I'm gonna go to cart abandonment, right? So. Over here, we can see we have our follow-up emails here. Now, the good thing about this is it also gives you some stats about how much you've recovered uh, using this tool, which is brilliant. And also you can check this by today, yesterday, last week, month, and also you can customize uh, which days you want to uh, see. Okay, so the next step now is to uh, come over here to follow up emails. But before we do that, let's take a look and see what we have here on settings. So here we have enabled tracking, so you can start capturing abundant cards, so which is great. And then over here, exclude emails, sending for processing, completed, and so on. So this is also very important so you don't want to send emails for an order that is processing or completed. So this is important that you leave those checked. Okay, so here we also have um, coupons and uh, then further down here you have your email. So make sure you have your from name. So in this case, uh, I would say Mac or it could be a company name. So whatever it is that you want to add on there and over here is where you'd add your email address 
uh, the from address, this is very important. And uh, the reply to also is very important. So make sure you uh, add it here. So you can also enable uh, GDPR. Uh, GDPR. Uh, this is also um, something that you can add here. And this gives a message um, on that page. So I'm just going to leave this as it is and save changes. Now the next tab, which is the one that we really want to take a look at is the follow-up emails. So coming over here now to follow-up emails, we have these three templates. So, so far we have one that gets activated after 30 minutes, one day, and then three days. So I find that uh, these work perfectly. So 30 minutes, one day, and then three days. So what you need to do now is to go to each and every one of these emails and customize your message. So I'm going to click here on edit. So here on edit, there's a few things that we can do. Okay. So here it's saying hi, and then it's, it adds the customer's first name. And then here is where you can add your message. So you can completely get rid of everything here, or you can just uh, go in and amend what we have here. And you can also add your, um, coupon code for the checkout. So you could say, uh, use coupon code, was it MAK10 to get 10% discount. So you can add uh, this message here, or you can uh, perhaps maybe add it, let's say after a day. Okay. So you could leave this email as it is. So here's the link to, uh, to continue to purchase the product, which is fantastic. And also here allows you to send a new coupon. And then over here now where it says create a coupon, because we already created uh, earlier on, it is uh, right here. So you can also click here on this and this will uh, add your coupon code. But I prefer just adding it in the email. That way it's, uh, I mean, that's how I prefer to do it. So once you're happy with your changes, you click on update changes. Now, here's the thing. So in my case, the way I prefer to do this is to uh, add the coupon code on the second email, which is after a day. So once you're happy with this template, you, all you need to do now is to activate it. So what happens now after you've activated it, it means when someone goes to your checkout page and they're just about to buy the product and for some reason they got distracted and they leave, this is when uh, this email is going to be sent to them. Okay, so back over here on follow-up emails, we can also go into the second email here. So if I click on that, we activate the template and this is where you can add the text and that's our coupon code. And also, like I said to you before, you can just add your coupon code here and you can also make some further adjustments here. So here it says, send this email one day after abandonment. So you can also uh, adjust the days here on this actual email, because remember, this is the template and we've just activated it here on the top. And also, uh, as I showed you before, you can also go in here and allow um, allows you to send a new coupon for this template. So you can go in there and then uh, choose your coupon code. Okay. So you can do it from here. And on the expiry date, if you set this to zero, it will not expire, which is fantastic. So once you're happy with that, you hit update changes and this updates pretty much everything on this template. Now, the final step now is to come over here on the main dashboard and make sure that these are activated. So once you've activated this template, it means now that your cut abandonment has been set up. So pretty much once you've set it up, that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. It works really fine behind the scenes. And after every, you know, I'll say maybe a week or so, you can just go check out the stats and see how much you've actually recovered on your cart. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.